Hey guys, I just got back from another cycle bar session. <laughs> and also while I was over there, I was like, hmm, let me run by Wegmans and Trader Joe's to pick up a few things. So I wanted to show you guys just this mini grocery haul. It's not very big, it's probably not even that interesting, but I think it'd be helpful for you guys to see, you know, what sort of foods I like to buy and why. So I'll show you guys now. All right, we're in, not in the kitchen right now. <laughs> um, but I got, so this is from Wegmans. I got bananas, there's only two in this bag. And then I got, I saw these mangoes um, on the stand and I was like, hmm. So I looked at it closer and I saw it was a keep mango. If you can read that, keep, keep mango. Keep mangoes are a very good variety of mango. Um, even this is non-organic and I just thought I would, you know, take a risk and see how it tastes. Um, usually if the variety is a good variety, a pretty good reliable variety, I tend to trust it organic or non-organic. So, and mangoes are not in season right now, but I just thought I might try it and it was not too bad. I can't remember what, I think it was 120 something for, you know, each mango, I think. So, and this one looks pretty too. I always try to look for one that has this like orange reddish blush on it tends to be a pretty good one so that's from Wegmans this is also from Wegmans I got uh, more bananas here I think I got six bananas total I think six maybe five one two three four five six I think six anyway and then I got these habanero peppers um, it's probably going to give me GI problems, like a lot of things, but I just love the taste of habanero peppers. I love spice and I just refuse to give it up and I'm just going to pay as a, you know, as a consequence for that. Um, this, well actually let's go, this is, uh, Wegmans again, not this. Got butter potatoes, russet potato, red potato. Non-organic potatoes, which is something I usually don't do, but of course with inflation, gotta do what you gotta do, right? A lot of people sort of feel like you just can't buy non-organic anything, and I just want to put out there that you just do what you need to do to just get enough calories, okay? If you have to go the non-organic route, do that. You know, don't think that you're all of a sudden unhealthy because you're doing that. If you have to do that, do that. If you can afford organic, like it's nothing, 100% do organic. But don't feel like you cannot go the non-organic route um, and feel like you're just going to be unhealthy or you're going to ruin your progress or whatever it is. Okay, try it out. See how you feel. If you love them. I like the taste of the red one. Um, russet I've never tried. Butter potatoes. I think I've tried butter potatoes. They're pretty good. So... They taste pretty good, so I'm pretty confident that they're not maybe too heavily sprayed. Um, you know, so again, organic is what I usually go for, but prices are high, so I'm like trying to keep it low with the non-organic potatoes. I got this Italian blend from Wegmans. Again, it's non-organic, but that's okay. Romaine lettuce, radicchio, and endive. I don't think I've ever had radicchio before or endive. This seemed pretty good. I just thought it'd be an easy sort of a salad mix to just like throw on the side of my meals just to get more greens in. Um, sometimes I unfortunately neglect the greens sometimes it's because I just don't have it in the fridge, but I love greens. Um, and I think greens are very important, especially for minerals. Um, and then I also got lemons, a bag of lemons. And this is just rice cakes. Didn't buy this set. Well, I bought it at Wegmans, but I bought it like so long ago. So yeah, those are just rice cakes. All right. Now, Trader Joe's. This, um, I did not buy this. The guy at the register, he saw that I was buying a lot of rice. And he's like, hmm, you know, you could blend this with your rice just to give it a little more oomph. You know, he's like, I don't, I'm not saying rice is bad or anything. But you know, like, I think you should try some of this too because it's really good and he gave it to me for free you know he probably maybe the maybe the amount that this cost was maybe taken out of his check maybe or something but I just thought that was so sweet he just wanted me to try it out and 
um and you know he wants me to let him know how it tastes and i just thought that was so nice that he gave this to me for free to try and and you know i'm all about hearing about you know people's point of views when it comes to you know diets and stuff like that and i was i was willing to hear him out i didn't know what he was gonna say i thought maybe he was gonna say like rice is bad and all that kind of stuff but he just decided to give me this to you know spice up or what do you call it like i guess increase the nutritional value of my rice i guess and i thought that was just so sweet of him i just thought that was so sweet so i'll i'll be sure to try this out it does have uh gluten in it so it contains wheat and i typically do gluten-free stuff because gluten also um gives me slight problems but not as bad as like beans and cabbage and stuff like that so i definitely will try it out in small amounts and because i definitely want to let him know how i uh how i think about that so i thought that was so nice of him and rice this is from trader joe's um i got i got six ba bags of rice and then i also got this can of whole peeled tomatoes so yep organic jasmine rice this is the cheapest rice you can find anywhere it's three 49 a pound. Yep. No. Not 39 a pound. It's 349 each. Very cheap for two pounds. So I like to get the rice at Trader Joe's. Alright, well that's it. Very little, very small. The most of them will probably be kind of small, but I'll definitely try to do more hauls, especially when I go to like Costco and you know, some other stores like Publix, you know, uh, it'll, it'll just be different stores. Food Line, I need to go to Food Line again to get something. Food Line's a great place to go for deals. It's very, very affordable there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and there'll be more to come. And I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys next time.